What's up bro? Welcome to Uncut Trading Episode 1. For those of you guys who have watched me from the start, you will know that I used to do this series called Unfiltered Trading. So this is a series where I just sit down here with you guys, analyze the charts, give you guys my thought process when I am trading, live trading, I show live trades, everything to prove to you guys that I'm actually somewhat of a decent trader. I wouldn't say that I'm the best trader in the world, but I'm a decent trader with an average win rate, but still make money consistently and make more money than you. So that is something that I know that you don't, so you need to listen to me. So I basically want to make sure that you guys use this whole uncut trading series as a mentorship. So I want you to treat this whole uncut trading as a 2024 mentorship by the trading geek himself personally. For those of you guys who do not know me, my name is Brad Go, or you might know me as the trading geek. And I'm a six figures trader. I've coached multiple students to become six figures traders themselves and also becoming fast lane traders with access to time, financial and location freedom. So all my students are successful. Maybe not all, but most of them are quite successful right now. And obviously, I don't want to take all the credit, but like some of it is mine. So use this as a mentorship and treat it just like a mentorship. That means that you should watch these uncut trading episodes from the start to the end. And halfway, after I'm done analyzing the chart, I will go into an uncut section. So uncut section is basically where I talk to you guys about trading psychology, how you can improve as a trader so that you can improve your trading performance and make more profits. So that's uncut section and I'll save that for later. But basically, treat this whole series as such. Study these videos, learn from these videos, take down notes if you need to. Rewatch these videos if you don't understand. Watch these videos from the start to the end. Practice, backtest, trade on a demo account first, then trade on a live account. I want to make sure that this series is a blueprint, it's a roadmap for you guys to get from zero dollars to making your first 10K per month. And I really want to make sure that I give everything I know about trading or rather most of it inside this whole Uncut Trading episodes. So Uncut Trading episode one, we are going live. So right now we are on AUDUSD and you can see this is my current watch list for 2024. You can see I have AUDUSD, EURUSD, Gold, GPAUD, GPJPY, USD, JPY. And actually, you know what? I might add a GPUSD. And I have really made sure that I literally clear up all the charts like I literally clear up all the drawings so that I can really have some fresh charts to show you guys how I trade, right? You can see it's just all blank, right? So I'm going to mark up these charts, analyze all these charts, and then just explain my thought process while I am doing so. So firstly, let's look at AUDUSD. If you look at AUDUSD, right, price has been making a downtrend for the past year, 2023. You can see 2022 to 2023, it has just been moving down and it was just creating lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, and potentially here another lower high, but it's actually the same high as this one. You can see this is the same high and then it comes down, failed to create a lower low. You can see this is the last low and this low is actually higher than this low. What does this mean? This means potentially AUD USD could reverse, could, right? It's still not confirmed yet because in order to confirm, it has to make a uh, break out this, come and retest and go back up. Let me just slowly rewind and just walk you slowly step by step through my thought process. So over here you can see, right? First thing about this is that this is the last lower high. This is the last lower high. So in order the price to continue to become a downtrend, price has to be continue making another lower high here. You can see this high must be lower than this high and just continue going down and down and down and down. That's the only way where this can actually continue or sustain this downtrend. But right now, price has already went all the way up to this level right here, this lower high level right here. So at this level, we are looking at what price is doing. Is price going to respect this lower high? If it does, then most likely, it will most likely topple and head back down. Or is it going to break past this lower high, come back down, retest this lower high and create another high low? In that case, you can see price will start becoming an uptrend, creating uptrend and go up like this. Uh, and you can see, then this will be a higher high, another higher high, and price, I mean higher low. Then price will be making higher lows, higher high, higher lows, higher highs, and just reverse and all the way back up, potentially going back up to the 0 0.78 level here, which is this very high level right here. You can see, it's very easy for me to just kind of analyze the charts and kind of predict, not really predict, but like have a sense of where price is going to move over the next few days, over the next few weeks, because this comes from a lot of experience. 
I've been in the market for three years now, three to four years actually. You know, sometimes I just forget how long have I been inside the market. Because in 2019, actually that is when I first learned about trading, but I never really go into serious about it. I was just touching it here and there. So I don't know if it counts as a year or not. But 2019 is when I first learned about trading. 2020 is when I start going somewhat serious about trading. 2021 is when I really start going serious about learning about trading. 2022 is when I start like trading, like just applying what I've learned. 2022 is also when I start live trading and everything, just applying what I've learned. And that's when I started reaping my rewards and stuff. So back to the charts. Yeah, you don't need to hear me up too much. So back to the charts, you can see price could be creating an uptrend right now, but we have just have to hold on and see what price does over the next few days. And this is on a weekly time frame, by the way. So this is more of a long-term direction, right? I'm still more of predicting whether price will be bullish or bearish in 2024. Long-term direction. Short-term price can go up or down, right? Short-term price can go up or down, as simple as that. Oh my God, this thing is goddamn messy. So let me just remove all these things first. So bear in mind that this is still a long-term direction. So if you are trying to be a scalper or an intraday trader, there is a different approach. You have to look at the smaller time frames, right? Like I always say, weekly, daily, 4 hour, 1 hour, 15 minute. This is the time frame that I use personally because my strategy is more geared towards intraday and also swing trading strategy, right? And by the way, I created a new strategy, a new trading strategy that I'm going to use in 2024 and it's called Market Mechanics. Market Mechanics. I came up with the name myself, or rather with a little bit of help from ChatGPT, honestly. Yeah, but it's called Market Mechanics. So how this strategy works is that it's a combination of price action, which you already know that's I've been, I've been training price action for the past few years, but I want to focus more on supply and demand, right? Supply and demand. And also a new concept called order flow. I won't touch too much about order flow for, for this video first. But I just want to make sure that I give you guys the foundation or rather basics of the market mechanics. So basically price action, supply and demand plus order flow. So let me explain what I mean. So if you go down to the daily time frame, you will start to see that, okay, price has somewhat been consolidating around this area here and started reversing to become an uptrend. So at this point of time, what I do is that I'll go to the daily time frame or even the four hour time frame to mark up my key levels and my supply and demand zones. So all these areas that are marked up right here, they are major key levels, right? Major, major key levels. And price has not reached that area yet. It's just in between this area. And if you want to know where price is going to go over the next few days, you still have to continuously mark up areas or zones around these areas here, right? That is why we are marking up the levels on the daily time frame and even the four hour time frame because we are looking more towards like intraday trading and stuff. So let me just remove these long-term zones first and try to mark up the recent one. So easily, how you spot demand and supply zones is that you want to look out for big surges in move, right? Big price movements like this, you can see. Huge movement, huge movement, huge mo movement. There's a lot of momentum, right? That means at that point of time, the big banks, the financial institutions, whatever like to call it, has entered the market, right? That's why there's a lot of liquidity explaining these huge ass candles right here. So we spot that, that's the first step. Second step is to look for the candle before this big move. So this is the big move. Let me just zoom in for you guys. This is the big move. So the candle before this big move is this previous candle right here. And identifying a supply and demand zone is as simple as going to this candle before the big move and drawing a box, dragging from the high of the candle to the low of the candle. Boom, there you have it, demand zone. This is a demand zone, as simple as that. No need to complicate things here. That's what we do in uncut trading. We try not to complicate things. We try to make things as simple as possible so that you guys can easy to understand and also make profits. So that is where we have our demand zone right here and you can see price has came back down to this demand zone and just reverse and head back up, right? It is exactly like what we expected, right? So at this point of time, what we are looking for is that we can also draw a supply zone right here. Somewhere right around here, there's a supply zone. Maybe... Right here, you can see huge sell, selling pressure right here. So somewhere right around here, that's a supply zone. So right now, price is ranging around this area here. And you can also draw another resistance area right here. Right, so price is approaching this resistance area right here. And price has been making quite a nice momentum right here. Quite a nice bullish momentum. And you can see there's actually a demand zone somewhere right around here. Right, demand zone somewhere right around here, this area here, it's a very good demand zone. So you got supply zone, supply zone, demand zone, demand zone. And price has been making such a good bullish momentum, right? There's a chance that it's gonna sustain. 
but we never ever want to predict where price is going to go and impose our thoughts onto the market because remember at the end of the day the market can go anywhere it can go up or down it can do anything it wants it doesn't have to listen to you it doesn't have to follow what you think just because you think it's going to go up doesn't mean it's going to go up so we have always got to be flexible and adapt to the market so at this point of time i am waiting i'm waiting for price to reach this key area that we have right here once price reach this key area that we have right here this key resistance level price can do two things right it can either reverse or it can either break past it it can only do this do these two things like nothing else only do these two things but at the same time, we have to look at price. It's not going to be so easy, okay? Price can just reverse and start creating like something like this and then eventually break up again. So that's why we always have to play by ear. You can see I don't rush to enter for the trade. I'm patient. I'm like a sniper. I'm waiting for the perfect opportunity, the perfect A plus trade setup. Then that is why I will shoot my shot and enter for the trade. And right now, price has not given me that yet. Maybe over the next few days or even later tonight during the New York session, price will have that liquidity to push the price or even the London session and stuff. So at this point of time, we are waiting, patiently waiting. That's all trading is about, guys, patiently waiting. So maybe somewhere right around here, I can see that price is reverse, high highs, high lows, high highs, high lows. Price can do this, break out this last resistance level, come back down, retest it to become a new support level right here right and then that is when price will go up to this supply zone that we have drawn right here this is the first i mean not the first this is the first choice that price will move in second choice is that price will reverse at this area here create somewhat of a lower high and just go back down to this demand zone and then maybe at this demand zone we could see some sort of buying pressure and like push the price up like this yeah or you can even break past this demand zone and go back down like this so if price goes to the for this move second choice it will go down to this 0.65 area right here if price go to this move right here break out this key level come back down and retest it it will go to this move right here 0.71 right so these are the two options that i'm looking to see what aud do over the next few days how it play out over the next few days and stuff and you can see it comes with understanding supply and demand price action i can even draw a fibonacci right here point a to point b you can see once I draw point A to point B, you can see price has retraced to this 38.2 level and right now is approaching the negative 61.8 extension level. You can see, you have to use as much confluence as possible in trading. I could have easily entered for a buy right here after I drawn the Fibonacci and I'll see that price has retraced to this 38.2 level and it showed me this double bottom, right? One, two, double bottom and also demand zone and also Fibonacci. And also higher low you can see i have four confluence to enter for a buy right here and take profit at the next key level so if i look at the next key level it'll be right here next key level and it's also lining up with the negative 61.8 extension level you can see all these confluences are lining up so this was a very extremely easy trade to enter for a buy right here honestly it's just that i've been taking some time off during december because like it's the last month and i don't really like trading in december because price is usually doesn't give much opportunities going sideways most likely but this year's december is a little bit different i guess yeah because it's actually like nearing to the end of this year you can see it's more towards nearing the end of december you can see price starts making more movements and stuff right because the thing about the year is that like currencies or rather anything stocks cryptocurrencies they like to close at a certain price at the end of the year so that it can kind of gauge the direction of where price is going to go for the next year so right here, price is bullish, right? Towards the end of this month, most likely, there's a chance AUD USD will go up for next year. There's a chance, guys. There's a chance. But we will see over the next few un uncut trading episodes, you will see me uh, see if my analysis is right or wrong. So yeah, these are the two choices that I'm predicting that price will go. So that's for AUD USD. So there's a lot of other currency pairs right here. Euro USD, Gold, GP USD, AUD USD, GP AUD and stuff. I'm thinking how I should do these uncut trading episodes. Should I go through all these currency pairs at once in one uncut, uncut trading episode because it's going to take very long? Or should I just go through like at least three currency pairs? Just let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. right? I want to make sure that I cover at least one currency pair, maybe one stock and also one crypto. So let me know if you guys want to see that. 
And also, I want you guys to note that some of these uncut trading episodes, they'll be live on YouTube. Like, I will literally be live on YouTube with you guys in the chat box and just go through this whole uncut trading with you guys live. So it's more of like a hands-on mentorship. So make sure you turn on the post notifications button on my YouTube channel, as cringe as that sounds, but turn it on, all right? So if you want to see me go live on these uncut trading episodes, and also some of these uncut trading so episodes will be recorded. So some will be live, some will be recorded. And I have good news for you guys. I'll be going live on the 1st January, 2024. So mark your calendars, 1st January, 2024. I'll be going live for the second episode of Uncut Trading. And that is when I want to teach you guys the path to becoming a successful trader in 2024 so that you can make 2024 your trading year. And then in 2024, that is when I will start depositing $10,000 from my own bank account into a live trading account with a regulated broker, everything, maybe Oranda or something like a more renowned broker and just document every single trade that I take, the wins, the losses, and just be transparent with you guys throughout this whole uncut trading series. You will see that I make a lot of mistakes. But yep, I'm just gonna be 100% transparent with you guys and just document this whole trading journey of starting off with a $10,000 live account. I don't know if anybody else is doing this, but I hope not. I'm trying to be unique here, trying to really be transparent and become a leader in the trading industry for this year or rather the next year. So before I move on to the uncut section, let me just go through stocks and Bitcoin just for a quick one, right? Even for you guys who are not trading stocks or crypto, it is good to kind of understand what the other markets are doing because somewhat, right, it influences the currency market, somewhat, okay? I'm not saying it has a direct correlation, but somewhat it influences it. The thing about stocks is that the price of stocks is related to the US dollar and US dollar is whatever we trade, right? And then Bitcoin also, same thing. Bitcoin is inversely correlated with US dollar. So you can see stocks and crypto, they are somewhat related to Forex. So in a sense, as a trader, you have the responsibility to kind of understand what the other markets are doing as well. So if you look at stocks, we use Vanguard because Vanguard is like a signature or rather, um, what is it? What, what's the word, man? I, I lost the word. It's a statement of stocks. It's a representation. It's a representation of stocks. So you can see right now, Vanguard has literally returned to all-time high right here. Uh, I'm quite shocking, honestly. I mean, price has been going through some shit in 2023 for stocks. It's just been collapsing and stuff. And finally, it's back to all-time high and I'm kind of grateful for that, honestly. It's nice. It's, it's, it's always nice to see like stocks doing well and stuff. I don't know why, but it just feels nice. So yeah, stocks has returned to all-time high. But at this point of time, once again, this all-time high, so there will be some resistance at this area right here. There will be some sort of sellers waiting at this area to shut the price down. So we have still have to see over the next few days. But once again, it has been making, making a very steady upwards momentum. Higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. Potentially, price could be creating a higher highs, come right down to a higher low before it breaks up and creating a higher high, higher low and look something like this. Potentially, potentially, right, there's a chance. And then for Bitcoin, Bitcoin is something that is shocking, right? Bitcoin is really, really shocking. Because the thing about Bitcoin is that it has been quite shit for the past two years. For the past two years, 2022 to 2023, it has been doing extremely, extremely poor, right? It was a poor ass. Wow, maybe I shouldn't go vulgar in these uncut trading episodes. I don't know, man, but I'm trying to be myself, you know? And it's very hard to be myself if I don't go vulgar and shit. Anyways, T for peace, inner peace. So Bitcoin is a little bit tricky because Bitcoin has been going through a very rough like turbulence over the past few years. And right now we see price reversing and stuff. So it's, it's a very good thing guys. It's at 43K right now. And just like last year, it was at 15K. So it kind of doubled itself over the past one year. It's a good sign, you know, for our fellow crypto holders who are surviving. So I'm, I'm glad that you guys are still holding. I remember in one of those unfiltered trading episodes, I actually talked about this before. Like I talked to you guys about how during this crash, the only thing you can do is to hold. The last thing you can do is to sell everything right here and lose a shit ton of money. The only thing, generally the only thing you can do is to hold, right? And if you guys hold, congratulations. You guys took the advice and you guys are probably, maybe not making money yet, but like, yeah, probably breaking even. I hope you're breaking even and stuff. So yeah. Let's just continue to monitor where price of Bitcoin is. You can see it's approaching this area right here. And also 
potentially if break past this area, it's gonna go back up to its all-time high right here, which I don't think it's gonna take a lot of time. Maybe next year, maybe 2024, when we see much more optimism in Bitcoin again. Bitcoin is just like mass psychology, honestly. It's just all about understanding the whole mass market, everybody's fear and greed. Yeah, Bitcoin is more of like understanding psychologically rather than looking at it fundamentally. Because Bitcoin is mostly influenced by the big boys, the influencers, Elon Musk, and also whatever they say, that is when retail traders try to move the Bitcoin price in a certain direction. I've covered all this in the Liberation series. So if you still have not watched the Liberation series, you're missing out because I talk about market manipulation and all this shit about how the manipulators are controlling the market and stuff. It's a very interesting series. Trust me, you have to go and watch it if you haven't. Anyways, that is for the chart section. Um, I want to make it longer. I want to cover all these currency pairs, but I also want to go through uncut section. So let's take it one step at a time. Since it's just an episode one, just to give you guys like a foundation again on how I trade. If you guys forgotten how I trade, this is the foundation of how I trade. And I also want to make sure that you guys, let me know how your trading in 2023 has been like. I'm just curious, you know, has it been good? Has it been bad after watching my videos? Maybe I make you lose money. Maybe my strategies has been working for some of you guys and you guys bought a new car and you guys changed your life in 2023. Just let me know the impact that I've done in 2023 so that it can kind of make me feel more motivated to keep on making these videos for you guys. Anyways, let's go to the uncut section. Oh my God, guys, I forget to wear my $22,000 Rolex so that I can show you guys that I'm a successful trader. Hee <laughs> hee. But anyways, welcome to the uncut trading section, right? This is where we really go unfiltered as possible, as much as possible. And we try to have a, you know, try to have a talk where I teach you guys how to improve your trading performance and also over some tea, right? It's some zen, peaceful, monk bullshit. Anyways, let me tell you something. Right now is about 28 December. 28 December, yes. Today is 28 December, which I recorded this. I just came back from my birthday yesterday, my birthday celebration where I took my family to this beautiful restaurant and stuff. I'll talk more about that later. And I also just came back from my Bali trip. Hey bro, uh, do you want to say about this vlog? <laughs> so, Anything else maybe? I don't know what to say man, this is like my first time doing a vlog. Like, I'm genuinely like, I don't know how to do vlogs. So this is just like, I'm just like rambling about my life, giving you guys my experiences. Okay, let's go. Okay, yeah, it's good, it's good. Ready to start grinding again. You see, these experiences, right? These experiences where I can just do whatever the fuck I want just kind of really motivates me to keep on working even harder because once I experience the luxury, you need to, I need to like work harder to sustain this luxury lifestyle-ish. You probably don't understand what I mean yet, but soon you will. Anyways, 26th December to 31st December is the biggest waste of time for most people. Everybody is doing what? Sitting over there, eating chocolates, watching Netflix, they are thinking, oh, you know what, this is just the end of the year. I've been working so hard this year. I've been slaving my ass off in the office, 9 to 5 this year. So maybe, maybe now is the time to just chill on the couch. You know, play some video games. Maybe GTA 6, which is coming up, let's play that. Or Netflix, let's just chill, right? Let's just chill. It's times like this where it determines whether you are actually going to be successful or you're just going to be useless, weak, and docile like 90% of the people here. Everybody is chilling, I'm working. Everybody is celebrating Christmas, I'm working. Everybody is, you know, watching Netflix, wasting their time, I'm reading books, I'm working out, I'm meditating, I'm doing something productive with my time. You cannot waste a single minute of your life. If you genuinely want to become successful, you have to get extremely obsessed and that means that you cannot literally waste a single minute of your time. For me, I go to my Google Calendar and you can see that if I look at my schedule, I literally block out every single hour. So every single hour of my day, there's something. Be it lunch, even lunch, 12 p.m. to 1 p.m., that is lunch, that's time for lunch. And then dinner, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. And then sleeping, I even have time blocked out for sleeping. From 11 p.m. to around 6 a.m. or even 7 a.m. sometimes, that time is blocked out for sleeping. The rest is work, work. And then maybe afternoon, go hit the gym or some shit. Work, trade, make these videos for you guys, business, everything. So, anyways, yeah, I just want to give you guys like a wake up call. Tell you guys that while well, the rest is slacking, you should be watching these uncut trading episodes. If the trading gig, a millionaire at the age of 21 is pushing out these videos on 28 December, he's not slacking, I can tell you that. He's not 
watching Netflix and wasting time, I tell you that. He's making this video so that you guys can actually put in the work right now and outwork the rest of the human being on this earth. And that's how you can achieve success. Uh, back to the topic, let's talk about trading. Back to trading. Trading is extremely difficult. I know not many trading gurus say that. I've never claimed to be a trading guru myself. I'm trying to be as unfiltered as possible. And I just want to tell you the honest truth. Trading is extremely difficult. Perhaps it's one of the most difficult jobs in the world because it involves you against you. It's all about you against you. Other jobs, you might be competing against your colleagues, competing against other companies. Trading is just no one, it's just you against you. It's you against your darkest demons within you. It's you against your most harmful emotions within you. You will learn more about yourself if you are trading for one year compared to if you're working at a job for 10 years. I can tell you that. I learned that I am actually a greedy model focal and that I am actually a very reckless person, a very impulsive person. I am actually someone who is fear of missing out. All these emotions, I realized that I only had them when I started trading or rather they only came up when I started trading. Before that, maybe I had them within me, but I didn't realize it. So you'll learn through a lot of journaling and reflection to think to yourself that, oh shit, I'm actually this type of person. So yeah, trading is extremely difficult. 90% of people don't make it. You've already heard these statistics like 10,000 times. I've said this 10,000 times. My 90% of traders don't make it. And there's a reason for that. It's because they are not able to develop the mindset to become a consistently profitable trader. That's why the people who actually go on to become profitable traders, they literally spend years, two, three years because they have been building their mindset. They have been learning how to monitor and control their emotions. They have been learning how to identify a certain emotion when it came up and how to solve it and how to stop it before it take control over you. And that's what I've dedicated my 2023 towards towards like understanding human psychology, emotions when I'm trading. I've been reading a lot of trading psychology books, the mental game of trading, trading in the zone, the daily trading coach, basically trying to learn more about trading psychology so that I can spread this message with you guys in 2024 through these uncut trading episodes to show you guys how you guys can improve your psychology and improve as a trader. Because once you improve your mind, your trading account improve, your profits improve, everything else improve. But first, you must start improving your mind first. Um, I just want to say that throughout this entire three to four years of my trading journey, I just want to show you guys what's possible and what's realistic. Most importantly, what's realistic. I don't want to be showing you profits all the time because I myself don't make profits all the time. I still lose money and I always show losses on my trading on my Instagram last time. And I hope to just show you guys the reality of trading and just document it all. And just be 100% transparent with you guys. And I believe no one in this industry has done this before. Like These uncut trading episodes where I'm just 100% transparent with you guys. And I'm just really proud to be the first one to do this. Because I understand that you guys like me because I'm authentic, I'm honest, I'm raw. And I've always been raw. I've always tell you guys my story. Came from nothing. Built something of myself. Becoming a millionaire at the age of 20. 20 and it's extremely hard. Yeah, I just want to be as unfiltered and raw as possible through this series. And I realized that in 2023, I have to be honest with you guys, because like I said, this that's all these uncut trading episodes are about. I was more focused on being a trading influencer rather than trying to become a tr better trader because I saw the amount of lives that I've changed in 2022. And I wanted to change more life, so I just keep on focusing on making content, making these YouTube videos every single week for you guys. Do you know how hard it is to make videos every single week? To come up with ideas every single week? So of course, I had to go out there and research other people's videos to find out what's popular. And that is what all YouTubers do, honestly. But now I realize that I am sick of doing that. I am sick of trying to be someone that I'm not. I am sick of trying to, you know, upload every single week just so that I can satisfy the algorithm, satisfy you guys. And yeah, I did not really trade much this year because I just really wanted to focus on making content. That's why you don't, guys don't really see me trade much. I'll trade here and there. And it also doesn't help that I'm actually in the army. So for the past one year, I'm actually in the military and stuff. In Singapore, it's mandatory to serve in the army for two years. And yeah, I spent the whole 2023 in the army. I enlisted in September 2022. So just think about it. 
2023, my YouTube channel has grew so much. My brand has grew so much. Well, I'm in the army. Monday to Friday, I'm in the army. And whenever I have any sort of free time, I'm working on these videos, working on how to make better content for you guys, more educational content on you guys. And then on Saturday and Sunday, the only free time that I have, I spend it making these videos for you guys, just so that I can maintain weekly upload. Yeah, and I never really shared with anyone that I'm in the army, so you guys are the first to hear this, but yeah, I was in the army for the past few years, for the past one year. And that's why I'm in the army, I didn't have much time to trade as well. And then on weekends, even when I'm free, the markets are closed and I'm just stuck with making these videos for you guys. So I didn't really have much time to trade. But good news, everybody, because in July 2024, so about seven months from now, I'm going to be coming off the army and that is when I can really fully focus on trading full time and also making these videos for you guys. But until then, I won't be doing weekly uploads anymore or maybe doing uploads every now and then just to check up on you guys and do these uncut trading episodes. Mostly we're going to be focused more on uncut trading episodes this year rather than those videos where it's more education-ish. So let me know what you guys think about this. Do you guys like these uncut trading episodes or do you guys prefer like the videos that I usually make like 12 laws of the top 1% trader, how to become successful at trading, 5 tips for you, all this stuff. Let me know down in the comments. And yeah, back to the reality, I just really want to show you guys the truth, my wins and my losses. And the thing about the trading gig is that we became the fastest growing trader in this whole goddamn industry. We have we are at like what 650k subscribers and we only started for two years. Last year alone, we gained over half a million subscribers. Just based on last year, or rather in 2023, we gained half a million subscribers. I don't know if anybody has done this before, I don't know, but we are growing super duper fast. And with growing so fast, there's a lot of companies. A lot of companies. Every single company you can think of in the trading industry has offered me money to promote them. There's a broker, I'm not going to say who, but there's a broker who offered me $50,000, 50K. And they asked me, all I have to do is to make a video. Just make one video talking about them and I get $50,000 in my bank account. Now, Back then, in 2023, I was, I'm still not a millionaire yet. So imagine you have less than $100,000 in your bank account and you get a broker offering you $50,000, half of what you have in your bank account, just so you can make one video, just so you can make one video and you get 50K in your bank account. But you still rejected him because you have core values, because you stick to your core values as a man. And... It just did not sit right with me. I just thought about, okay, what if this broker closed down one day? What if this broker scammed my viewers' money and just run away with their hard-earned money? Will I be able to sleep at night? Even though I wanted to become a millionaire this year, I did not even accept that money. Even though it will help me become a millionaire faster, I did not even accept. I rejected him just like co day. I'm just like, fuck no, go away. Because I care about you guys more than money. Money doesn't mean shit to me. I have enough money. Money doesn't mean shit to me. I just want to make sure that you guys understand that whatever I've accomplished so far, I've literally never, never accepted a single sponsorship, never promoted anything on my YouTube channel because I am raw. I am honest with who I am. And the last thing I want is for you guys to lose your hard earned money because I was in your exact position. I remember losing money from this because I listened to this fucking YouTuber promoting this shitty scammy broker and I deposited my $100, my hard-earned money, the last $100 I have in my bank account into this broker and I got scammed. And this broker ran away with my money and I was so devastated. I just don't want to be the one doing this to you guys. So yeah, do you know how hard it was for me to say no? You probably don't, right? Because you guys don't understand. But yeah, I, I, I just said no. And that's that. And I'm so glad that I said no. And I still became a millionaire anyways. But at least I can sleep at night knowing that I did not scam you guys. I did not make any shitty crypto coins and promote any shitty scammy coins. I did not promote any scammy brokers. I did not do anything unethical. And some of you guys messaged me. They're telling me that you guys have been scammed by me. Let me tell you something. I don't need your money, all right? You guys have been scammed by impersonators of me. And I want you to warn you guys right now. There's a lot of impersonators of me out there. To become the fastest trader in, the, in this industry, I be, also became like the most reliable or the most people who trust me, the guy, the guy that people go to when it comes to trading. 
there's gonna be a lot of scammers, a lot of people trying to impersonate me and take your money. And I want you guys to listen to me and just be aware of this. Be vigilant and just do not give your money to a random stranger. Listen, I'll never ask you for your money. If I ask you, message you for your money, telling you, hey bro, you can message me on WhatsApp and I'll give you advice. Come on, man, you, you should be smarter than that. You should know that I am not free enough to text you on WhatsApp and ask you, how's your trading, bro? Or text you on Instagram. So be aware, guys. I will never, ever ask you for money. Never, ever. Never, ever. So, yeah, that is for Uncut Section Part 1. I'm going to play a clip for which I recorded last night after my birthday party for Uncut Section Part 2. And you guys just watched it, right? It's a very meaningful one because I realized that 2023 has been crazy. It's been absolutely crazy. I've accomplished everything I ever wanted in life. I managed to finally live my dream life, you know, just went to Bali, had such a great time in Bali, shoot a bunch of videos and stuff. Bali is the most beautiful place I've ever been, honestly. And yep, go to Uncut section two now. So today is my birthday. I'm finally 21 years old and I'm very, very like proud of whatever I've accomplished so far. I'm a millionaire at the age of 21. I was actually a millionaire before 21, but I'm a millionaire. And there's not very, there's not a lot of people that can say that. I'm pretty sure I'm the 0.0001%. And I just want to say that I just came back from the birthday party. Not really birthday party, but like we had like a birthday dinner. So I basically, I bought my mom, my parents to go shopping. And then after shopping, uh, we went to this rooftop restaurant. Not really rooftop restaurant, but this expensive as fancy as restaurant at level 70. And so we went up to this level 70. And then the moment I come off the escalator, walk down the stairs to go to the restaurant, the waiter or rather the person at the counter was like, Brad, go. And I got shocked. I was like, what the fuck? How does this person know who I am? Then, then he said that um, he saw my TikTok. I mean, it's a she actually. Yeah, it's, um, I don't know why I got female fans, but she said like, uh, yes, uh, yeah. your, your son is an influencer and she, she said that to my mom and then my mom didn't understand English so she don't really understand what she's saying and then we move on, sit down and it's my birthday even though it's my birthday, I'm still the man of the house so I try to pay for every single thing, right? the food, whatever and I sat there and asked her or rather I ordered whatever we want on the menu we ordered a big ass roasted chicken and a big ass pork lamb chop and stuff and then we were eating and shit and then we started talking and stuff and my mom told me that she's proud of me do you know how good that feels do you genuinely know how good it feels that she's proud of me being her son because not long ago four years ago where i was a gaming addict and i remember there was this one night where i video called my mom because she was in china like for like for her job and stuff uh, she was trying to like buy some supplies for her clothing shop and then I video called her and I was playing video games so I was just like busy ga gaming and shit and I didn't really pay attention to her and then I remember at the point of time she was telling me hey son you have to study hard you have to study hard so that we can get out of this shit hole so please study hard and I was just ignoring her and stuff playing video games and stuff and I remember at that point of time she started breaking down she started crying crying on fucking video camera and then at that point of time, I felt really, really shit for myself. I was like, my own mom is crying and I'm not doing anything about it other than just fucking gaming and not even giving a shit about studying. And then fast forward to four years later, I've never seen her cry anymore. And she just said that she's proud to have me as a son. Do you genuinely know how happy I feel inside? There was another time where we were at a car park and stuff and I was just like being a gaming addict, you know, just addicted to my phone and shit. And then she got so angry that she threw a water bottle at me. Yeah, she's a China mom, so like this this kind of thing is usual. So she threw a China she threw a water bottle at me and then I was fucking like, what the fuck, man? And I was very angry and shit, but then I was a fucking loser back then, so I understand why she did it. She was really genuinely disappointed in me. And then four years later, her son has changed. Her son has became a millionaire at the age of 21. And we sat there and we can order whatever we want on the menu without worrying about the price. 
She wants this, she wants that, okay? No worries, just get it. She wants these new shoes, let's get it. She wants this new handbag from Louis Vuitton or fucking Gucci or some shit, let's get it. Whatever you want, mum, I'll get it for you. And I'm only able to get to this level, this financial freedom after like generally putting my head down and work for three years. So uh, right now, just came back from the Christmas dinner. I mean, not Christmas dinner, my birthday dinner. Just came back from my birthday dinner. And right now, I'm just going to get back to work, even though it's around 11 p.m. Yeah, usually I sleep at around 11 p.m. But after just coming back and spending so much time with my family, I just got really motivated to, you know, just continue grinding it out. So 11 p.m. right now. So let's continue grinding it out when everyone is, else is asleep so that I can really outwork my competition. Mm, yeah. And another thing that motivated me today was when I walked into... A uh, very like branded like shop, and then I saw that my dad's back the strap broke, so he was just carrying the bag like this, like he was just carrying the bag like this. So I was like, okay, you need a new bag. So you go into some branded shop, and I was asking him, just pick any man and keep it like this black color coach bag, costed about nine hundred dollars, but I was like, fuck it, let's get it anyways. And I paid without blinking an eye. And now I'm just like, holy shit. I literally created my own reality. I created my own world. Like, whatever I wanted has come true. Since day one of trading, I told myself that one day I will be able to walk into a store and get anything I want. One day I will be able to walk into a fancy restaurant and just order whatever I want without worrying about the price. And right now, going to fancy restaurants and eat is like a regular thing to us right now. I like to bring my family to fancy restaurants every weekend just so that we can really sit down, have a good chat and have a good bonding session and just catch up and stuff. And shits like this really drive me a lot. Yeah. Yeah, and back to the millionaire at the age of 21, you see, a lot of people when they achieve so much wealth at such a young age, they're gonna be stupid and spend on shit like fucking Lamborghini, buy a new car, buy a new uh, sports car, or like buy a new fucking Patek Philippe which costs 100k and costs them like one tenth of their net worth, not me. I choose to continue to put my head down and work because I know that one million dollars is not a lot of money. Growing up, my mother didn't have a lot, my dad didn't have a lot, so I think I grew up with this scarcity mindset where I have to genuinely go out there and get as much as possible right now and store everything right now because one day it's going to be taken away from me. And I think that kind of pushes me, even though it's kind of bad, but it kind of pushes me to just keep on going and keep on going and never just stop working. And yeah, that's probably bad for your mental health, but fuck it, you know. Generally, I'm just proud that I'm able to give my family this life right now. And just two years ago, I was making fucking unfiltered trading episodes where I was just using my iPhone 7 camera and just saying that, oh my god, how good it would feel to really be able to retire my dad and give them a better life. And now I'm achieving that. I literally walked the talk and I documented everything on my YouTube channel. If you saw the trading geek videos by the oldest and go back, you will see me walking around half naked in a fucking garden or some shit with my iPhone 7 like this, with my back like with my cap like war and like the flip the other side and just saying like oh my god you know what uh life sucks right now and I, I really wish that i can give my family a better life i can provide for my family and right now i'm able to do that it's crazy because you can literally look back at my journey and you will see that i am an absolutely fucking nobody i came up from a very bad place I grew up with the most uncomfortable and the most unfavorable circumstances and I still made it. So I hope that this video gives you guys uh, motivation. And yeah, happy birthday to me. Finally 21, baby. Finally legal.